Welcome to Watermelon. These celebrities definitely have the guts. They attempted to impersonate another star in public and did it right in front of that very person. In over 50 years of his career, Denzel Washington has started nearly a hundred films, yet his calling card remains this scene from A Soldier's Story. Now don't you get smart, get your fucking hands off me! Come on. Please. Grab your hand yeah, and yeah, you yeah, play yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Hey! You get your fucking hands off me! <laughs> Sun Tzu once said, to know your enemy, you must become your enemy. But it didn't help Djokovic to defeat Nadal in 2009. Every time The Rock and Kevin Hart meet, it turns into a non-stop exchange of friendly banter. Surprisingly, the huge wrestler is much better at impersonations than an actual comedy performer. And then, over the ridge, I hear, Hey, 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 girl, hey, what's up, my no. <laughs> No, he ain't seen me. My name is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> yeah, doing some interviews, uh, and I'll be interviewing Kevin Hart. <laughs> and who did it better in your opinion? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Karen Gillan does a great job at hiding her Scottish accent, but that doesn't stop Jack Black from mocking her. You're not going to put me in the scene? When have I ever said that? <laughs> never have you said that! <laughs> when have I ever said that? Like, I... That's so stereotypical! <laughs> Stand-up comedian Jay Farrow deserves a raise just for a Shaq impersonation alone. <laughs> All my friends are saying mean things. <laughs> Hurt my feelings. Shaq a big strong man outside. But soft inside. Everyone is calling Shaq dumb, but Shaq not dumb. The film The Upside brought Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston together on set. Here's how Brian described working with Kevin. You came on the set and you're like this dynamo. <laughs> hey, my boy! Darren! Hey! Why aren't you smiling? Darren! Where's my coffee? And Kevin didn't miss the chance to retaliate. In times, there's times, and of course, with it's very, very, his vocabulary is amazing, you know, that there's a touching time where um, it's. And now imagine if Kevin played in Breaking Bad. Say my name. I'm the one who knocks. <laughs> Okay. Okay. How are you feeling on can that? I, can um, I give another re the moment when Jimmy Fallon became president of the USA. You were, you were very high voiced. Your voice was very high. And then you got into a stage where you were just yelling. You were yelling into the microphone. Yelling at everyone. And like you don't even need the mic. And now, now you're more of like a smoky, silky. Many of Jim Carrey's movies contain references to Clint Eastwood. Now you have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Do ya? Punks? Be careful what you wish for, punk. Few know that they even appeared together in the Deadpool. I always knew the work in homicide to be glamorous. Here's how Jim recalls their first meeting. When I finally met Clint, he just said to me, I love that tape. Well, maybe we'll just turn the camera on and let him go. I had never seen Kobe Bryant laugh so hard. 
And what's even more surprising is that it was all thanks to LeBron. Let's go, Phil. Let's go. Hey. Hello, come on. <laughs> all that means is get the hell out of the way. <laughs> Tom Holland and Jake Gyllenhaal share one of the most beautiful friendships in Hollywood. It even withstood Jake's impression of Tom. Hey, I'm Spider-Man. Is that supposed to be funny? <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm Spider-Man. Tom Hiddleston originally auditioned for the role of Thor, which ultimately went to Chris Hemsworth. Perhaps he should have impersonated Chris to land the role. I'm Loki, uh, of Asgard, and I'm burdened with glorious purpose. <laughs> Get going. Um, uh, it's not this simple, as it's not your natural state. Uh, you know, it's the unspoken truth of humanity that you crave subjugation. Uh. This is Tom Hiddleston's all-time favorite scene in the history of cinema. What if you do got me boxed in? We've been face to face, yeah. I bet he waited his whole life to meet Robert De Niro and show him this. What if you do got me boxed in? We've been face to face. Yeah. But I will not hesitate. Not for a second. And that's my... Hey. The app Calm offers meditation and relaxation tools with Matthew McConaughey providing soothing narrations. One of the lucky subscribers to the app is Michael Buble. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Matthew McConaughey. I'm going to tell you a bedtime story. And I just do this, oh. <laughs> I can't believe Jack Black didn't break character while The Rock and Kevin were cracking up. I never forget a face, I never forget a thing. My mind's like a steel trap. 5 a.m. and uh, do 27,000 rip curls, uh, bleed, blood, sweat, tears. That's how I approach everything. Life is a delicious drink that you have to suck deep. Uh, there's no time. Christopher Walken has such a distinctive manner of speaking that the parodies it inspires are as iconic as his roles. I can't believe you made it. <laughs> wow. When's the last time I saw you, Stanley? It's my brother John's wedding 15 years ago. <laughs> Look how big you guys are getting. Maxine, what's your doll's name? My doll's name is Jenny. <laughs> Imagine impersonating such intimidating guys like Al Pacino and Jack Nicholson right in front of them. An easy task for Kevin Spacey. Isn't this brave? <laughs> another day, another $50,000. Kevin, how are you? Nice to see you. Oh, shut up, Dave. They like it. I worked on something just for this moment. <laughs> Who could impersonate you better than your best friend? Jim Parsons! Jim Parsons! Are you kidding me? That is how it's done, my man! He's so great, am I right? Am I right? Jim Parsons! We all have that one friend with an exotic accent we like to copy. Yeah, that's not just good. I will wear something tight and like a dolce maybe, but it will have fruit on it or flowers, so you know it's for the day. It's beautiful. This skit could be the official sequel to being John Malkovich. Hello, my name is John Malkovich. <laughs> well, I don't sound anything like that. No, no, you sound exactly like this. <laughs> Graham Norton loves to laugh at himself and often encourages guests to impersonate him. Do the music. Do the music. Do the music. Oh, stay there. I'm enjoying this. Introduce yeah. Buddy Tyler. Right. Yeah. It's time for the music. <laughs> so, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, so, so you, so you, you've never been on the show. <laughs> And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next one.